Hey guys, welcome back, and we got another reaction video today on this Friday. Hopefully it's Friday anyway, it's either Friday or Saturday. Whenever I get this up, you know, it's I've been sporadic about it. Friday or Saturday, whatever. Anyway, in this video we'll be looking at some paddling out on the west coast, or the Pacific Northwest anyway, at that direction. Uh, why is that? Well, because I have a really awesome job opportunity this summer, and a really high likelihood I'm headed out that direction this summer. So that's why I'm really digging into this right now. I really want to look at this, some of this stuff. That being said, uh, we're going to jump into it in just a bit. But that being said, if you like what I'm doing here, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing too. That helps me out so much. If you like what I'm doing too, or if you want to leave a comment or a question or whatever, leave it down there in the comment section and I will get back to you guys. Because I like getting back to you guys. Uh, that being said, how do you like my beard here? It's been working on it for a little while here. I can't really decide. I kind of like the sides of it, but not not really the mustache fan myself. Anyway, beard or no beard? Anyway, let's jump into the video here. Uh, this is actually from Yaw the Movie, um, and that's kind of what I wanted to go back and look at here. If you don't know what Yaw the Movie is, it's this movie that was put together over a couple years by some guys who went or went paddling. Excuse me. They went paddling around, had some fun, um, spent about two years putting all this together. It kind of has uh, like a Warren Miller vibe to it if you ever watched any of the ski movies, any Warren Miller ski movies. Um, at least that's what I get from it anyway. So that's where it's from. I will leave a link to, you know, where the, you can get the movie at in the description. Um, just so you know, it is digitally only as far as I can tell, so just make sure you have uh, availability on your computer to download it. I believe it downloads through Dropbox. Anyway, let's jump into it. Pacific Northwest Wonderland. Oh, that's a... I gotta get some speed coming right out of that. All these rivers too, you know, they're they're definitely tight technical rivers. Something I really want to push myself towards. So I'm gonna keep pausing, keep talking. Let's just have fun. That is really steep though. And they just keep running it, high sides, airs, whatever. They don't care what their boats is, they're just having fun. I do like the kind of the swap between the camera angles. You get the person in the boat with the angle on their helmet, kind of looking in from what they're seeing and the person on the bank, you know, filming it as they're going down. So that's really cool to see. Yeah, these guys, these guys are actually taking graphs over waterfalls. You know, there was a, a kayak craze where kayakers are dropping off of waterfalls. Now rafts are doing it. Oh, and cataracts, of course. Oh, geez, that just keep that gives you the chills hanging back there, just watching them dive right over it. Oh, I almost flipped it, but managed to catch that high edge on the high side. Oh man, that looks just fun. That guy got soaked though. Gotta say, that guy got soaked. Whoa, that guy, the cat's getting rodeoed. I gotta ask a question too, you know, I, I do a little bit of catarafting here and there, not anything this big, but I have taken a cataraft out a few times. Um, what is your guys' opinion about, you know, letting go of the oars and just grabbing onto the frame? Um, especially going off of drops like that, you know, this guy got kicked around a little bit. Uh, I'm just curious, you know, down on the lock side, I did have to grab onto my boat a few times and kind of ride it out like an inner tube. Um, but, you know, I'm just curious what your guys' opinions are about, you know, going over a drop, letting go of oars, and grabbing onto the frame, and just basically hanging on for dear life. It's, uh, please, just put your opinion down there anyway.
This area, this whole area, this whole area seems like a really fun place to go paddle though. I and mean, then going out to the west side or the Pacific Northwest, like I said, this summer, I am really looking forward to getting into some of this stuff. Oh, there goes the cataractor. Yeah, these guys are just dropping off the boats. I mean, I... Oh, there he goes. But yeah, dropping off the stuff. It, it, it it's definitely scare, scaring me a little bit, but you know, I definitely want to work into that. There goes, yep, right in again. Oh man, that just looks fun. I got back to the oars. Um, I wanted to go back here a little bit. I'm uh, kind of going along with letting go of the oars. Where is it? There it is. This guy, there are a whole bunch of different opinions out there. You know, pins and clips, open versus closed oar locks. Uh, you know, everybody's got their opinion on it. You know, I, I think some are good in some situations. Um, if you do drop off of stuff like this, would you prefer to have an open oar lock with an oar right in it like this Cataractor has, or would you prefer a pin and clip where the oar actually will stay in the boat a little easier and you don't have to worry about it kind of ejecting? Or there might be a third option too where you put like a, a bungee basically to keep your oar in the oar lock itself if you're using an open oar lock. Um, anyway, again, state your opinion down there. Oh, nice little slide action. Little falls, little slide, yeah. Oh yeah, some sliding. Woo! That guy's gotta be exhausted doing that just by himself. But I mean, that just goes to show the, the, the endurance on these guys. If you can do that by yourself, and you can do a lot of stuff in a boat by yourself. Oh yeah, definitely a good spot to go scout and make sure you're not gonna drop in anything you don't want to. And down they go. Uh oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's swimming. Ooh. Definitely not a spot I want to go swimming. I actually think he made it out of that. I hope he did. Oh, the cataractor again. Jeez Louise, that guy stood up on his end, or up on the, basically on the nose of his boat for a good while there. Uh, I want to go raft the little white salmon. Right off again, yeah. That's good. That looks a little like a little chillier there. I got some ice going. I've never actually rafted in the winter when it's been that cold before. Oh yeah, bouncing around, taking some drops. Oh yeah, damn slug, yay! Yeah. So that was a little bit of fun. Again, you know, just looking back at y'all the movie here and some of the North Pacific Northwest paddling. A little shorter kind of reaction video here. Getting a little loopy, you know, having fun. Drinking some hot chocolate, where my hot chocolate go? Getting some hot chocolate because it's freaking cold where I am at the moment. It was 20, uh, negative 28 today in town.
That's cold. Definitely not skiing then. Anyway, if you want to check out the rest of the movie here, I'll leave a link to where you can find it in the description. Again, if you guys like what I'm doing, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down there in the comment section. I'd love to read over them, love to get back to you guys about it. It's just, it's just all fun all the way around. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. A lot of you guys have subscribed since, since the beginning of the year, and I'm so thankful to each and every one of you and all the other subscribers. You guys frickin' rock. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.